I'm Andy, this is Kirsten, and that is our good friend Emily. We've been hanging out on the exotic island of Eleuthera in the Bahamas. There's a lot to see and do here, and last time we checked out an inland seawater lagoon and explored a massive cave. Now we're set to leave Hatchet Bay and continue our adventures a bit further south. You don't want to miss it. Follow us on Instagram for real-time updates and subscribe here on YouTube to join us on the adventure. It is the third day of Emily's Eleuthera expedition, the second full day, and we are underway heading down to Governor's Harbor. Yes, you do hear the motor. I promise that we are a sailboat, but we have four knots of wind at most directly on the nose to where we want to go, and we need to charge the batteries. So, motoring for two hours down to Governor's Harbor is just fine with us. Hopefully, we have a good time while we're there. One of the secrets of the sailing life is that this is a lot of what we do while getting from here to there. Sometimes, sure, the ride can be exciting, stuff breaks, the weather kicks up, but most of the time, the world slows down and you just enjoy the easy pace right over the soothing waters. Anchored down in Governor's Harbor, so it's time to go find some food. It's already after my lunch time. It's pushing up on one o'clock. We found a bakery. We haven't had a lot of these in the Bahamas. Everything looks amazing. We have to come back. We'll definitely be back for breakfast. After the wonderful food, we took off on foot to check out most of the downtown. Like many places here in the Bahamas, Governor's Harbor offers its own unique charms. Yes, there are some old, abandoned, and partially destroyed buildings, but it also has beautiful houses, wonderful views of the harbor, and a fantastic old church. And on top of all of that, it even has a historic library. The Haynes Library was established in 1897, and it was the fifth library in all of the Bahamas. It has had its ups and downs. At its peak, it stored over 2,000 different volumes, and at its low point, it stored as few as 30. The library was even turned into a residence for the local doctor in the 1980s, but by the 1990s, a private committee had formed and a donation was secured to save the library and keep it open to this day. That was so cute. They had such a good collection of books. I wanted to stay there and start reading some of them. Yeah. Also the like the architecture, like you said, like the ceiling and all the woodwork and stuff was very pretty. Yeah. It was best, a beautiful library. Best library so far in the Bahamas? Uh for sure. Yes. <laughs> a thousand percent. We're obviously leaving the boat, heading to get some pastries. We don't get those very often in the Bahamas. And we're gonna go check out, what's it called? A levee park or something? Yeah, the Native Plant Preserve, or Native Plant Reserve. The Native Plant Reserve Park. And then after that, I think the girls are going to the beach. I'm gonna come back and do some work, but hopefully we'll have a fun morning. Guidebooks are not wrong. It is a very small slope into the shore, <clears throat> and there's a hump also that you gotta get past. So at low or approaching low tide, you can't even float your dinghy up to the stairs. But we're gonna be back around high tide. So we're gonna tie our boat up to the stairs because it'll float up when we get back. Got our shoes back 
Africa. Now we're ready for pastries and coffee. We have been thoroughly enjoying our time in the Bahamas, but there are a few things to miss from home. One, I actually miss fast food. Taco Bell, Popeyes, would be nice. Another thing is good baked goods. There haven't been a lot of those around here, um, so we're very excited. This place, this bakery, looks pretty good. Is it all that One of the things that's been a little surprising is you hear about how flat the Bahamas are. Eleuthera is not flat. <laughs> There's quite a few hills that we've walked up, including that one. We made it. Leon Levy Natural Plant Preserve. It's a cool gate entrance. Hopefully the rest of the park is very cool. It's supposed to be 23 acres of preserved natural plant life. I was gonna think of some cooler way to say that, but plant life. There's supposed to be trails all over the place. There's supposed to be nice signs to tell us what is what. But I will also put on a hat. I'm trying to get some sun into the rest of my hair. It's down here starting to get much more blonde um, than it is up here. It's trying to even that out a little bit, but we've been out for a couple hours already. I need to put a hat on. The Leon Levy Native Plant Preserve was founded in 2003 as a way for Mrs. Shelby White to celebrate her late husband, Leon's devotion to the island of Aleut. Working in conjunction with the Bahamas National Trust, the park was created to conserve the natural beauty of Eleuthera and to preserve its cultural heritage. The park has several different areas that are dedicated to various natural ecosystems, such as the saltwater mangroves, the medicinal plants. This little area is pretty cool because it's like the medicinal plants. So uh, kind of like, uh, it's, it's probably not called bush medicine here, but the, um, you know, local remedies with various plants. Be curious, you know, exactly how much of it works. Like obviously they have aloe vera, like we still use that in modern stuff, but it's a very cool little section seeing what all those trees were for. The edible plants and the freshwater wetlands. Those freshwater wetlands are home to one of our two favorite attractions in the park, and that is the Bohemian Slider Turtles. And our other favorite attraction is Ethan's Tower, a beautiful timber structure that allows you to admire the canopy of the entire park. This is very cool. Wow, what an amazing find. I didn't even know this thing existed until Emily told us about it and I'm so glad we came here. Should be added to the cruising guides. Yes, it should for sure. I mean, it's a long hike, but. Yeah, it's two and a half miles. But, oh my gosh, the trails are beautiful. I love when a nature preserve like puts signs on the plants so you know what the plants are. The tower was cool, amazing views, and my favorite part was seeing all the turtles. Those are so cool. We then grabbed a well-deserved lunch at Tippy's, stopped by the French Leave Beach, and finished off this amazing day with some beach time for the dogs. It doesn't get much better than this.
Good morning. We are just about to pick up anchor here in Governor's Harbor and head to Spanish Wells because Emmy is leaving in a couple of days and we have to return her to the airport. So we're going to pick up the anchor and put out the sails and hopefully sail most of the way. Emmy has agreed to drive us out of the anchorage. It's pretty wide open, except for the other boats. There's nothing underwater that we have to worry about hitting. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like I'm glad to contribute something, even if it might actually be more work for you than if you were to just do it yourself. Uh, no, I'm excited. Let's do it. Now put it in gear. So up. up. Is that slower? Yeah, we're like in pretty slow. And then. Uh, you know, I would just go between that power boat and that sailboat, mm -hmm. kind of right down the middle of them. <clears throat> Visualize like maybe a third of the way. <laughs> Once you get there, then we're going to turn and like go out to the left. Because a boat, unlike a car, will like continue to drift. Yeah. Right, so you have to like kind of anticipate it. So now if we want to go faster, which I can go a little faster than this, unless you want to just do this out. You go a little faster so you can get safe. That's this one. Pull it towards you. We chose not to put the sails up off of anchor for a couple reasons, but now we got to go get them prepped. I also forgot to like get all the lines sorted and get the bags open and stuff, so we're going to do that now. And then we'll put the sails up and hopefully be able to turn off the motor for quite a bit today. I got it. Yeah. And like the full sail is out, almost, pretty much. <laughs> Such a big sail. This sail was the perfect end to our adventures with Emily and Eleuthera. When we had first come to Eleuthera, I viewed it more as a stepping stone between the amazing Abacos and the enticing Exumas, but after a bit of time and a lot of adventure, my mind has been completely changed. Eleuthera is a destination unto itself. If you have the chance to come and visit this enchanting island, you will not be disappointed. Up straight. The two of them took that exact same adventure, jumping off of a pontoon boat into a lake. Now here we are, on a sailboat, into the beautiful waters of the Bahamas.